Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make a blood film and carry out blood staining using the field staining protocol. So let us begin with seeing how to prick yourself using a lancet and then you make a film out of that. So here is a lancet. Okay. So I'll be showing you how to use this lancet. This is a sterile lancet. Please remember that whenever you're going to withdraw blood samples for such staining, you have to always ensure that the lancet is sterile. So this is a sterile lancet using which I'm going to prick myself, take a drop of blood, make a thin film of blood on slide, and I will begin with the staining process. So let us begin. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I have taken a cotton, a good clean cotton, which has alcohol in it and the finger on which I'm going to prick myself, I will clean that with alcohol properly. So this is a kind of surface sterilization and cleaning. And once you do this, let your finger dry enough. Till then your lancet is ready, okay? This tip of the lancet you have to just rotate gradually remove it such that you can see that there's a small needle if you could see right so this is what i'm going to use to prick myself on the finger so now when i'm going to prick myself i'm going to apply pressure on my finger so that uh, you know the blood gets collected there and as soon as i prick myself i should be able to get blood out of it right so i am going to so you can see probably that there is blood oozing out from my finger right now, right? So I'm just going to little apply, apply a little more pressure so that I get more blood and I am going to put it onto the slide, okay? So this is the slide on which I will be placing a drop of blood, okay? So jitna bhi khun aya hai, wo pura. You put it onto the slide, okay? And using an another slide, the way you used to do for negative staining, using an another slide, you are going to make a film out of it, okay? So you're going to hold it, okay? And you have to stretch it at one go because we want a very thin film, okay? So just hold it, see that everything is coming at one end and then just stretch it out. Okay, so now you can see that this is the film that has been formed on my slide. Though there are gaps which shouldn't have come, but uh, because I was handling my bleeding finger, uh, there are some gaps, but that's okay. But we have got a comparatively thinner film. So now I'm going to let this film air dry, okay? I'm going to let it air dry for some time before I actually start the staining process, okay? So I will just keep it aside for it to dry. And till then, please remember that the lancet that you have used, you have to close it again. Uh, check where the aperture is and uh, close it properly. And once you close it, now you are ready to discard this. Please never discard this open for a basic reason that this might end up hurting someone else. So let's not do that. And uh, let's discard this safely into the dustbin. Okay. So you can see that my slide is almost dry, okay, there is no uh, moisture or wetness that I can see, so now I am ready to start with my uh, staining process, okay. So let's see what are the steps involved in this particular staining process very quickly. So all requirements have been kept ready in the staining jar, you can see that it's all kept labeled properly. You can see one staining jar having methanol, yet another having field stain B and then field stain A. So I will start with methanol first because I want to fix my film, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly open the uh, methanol jar and I am going to quickly put in my slide uh, there into methanol, okay? so. Uh, just normally ensure that uh, the level of methanol is reaching or covering the entire slide and you have to quickly remove your slide from it, okay? Don't let it be there for a very long period of time, 
okay you need to uh, just put it dip it in methanol and then remove it you're not going to wash it you are going to let it dry okay so you can see that already the methanol has started evaporating and as it is evaporating you can see that the slide is turning to be uh, dry now okay so uh, the very next step after the slide dries out completely is going to be dipping it in the field stain B for five seconds okay so I'm going to open and keep the field stain B jar ready over here and once my slide is going to be completely dry I will very gently using a forcep dip it into uh, the field stain B so now that my slide is completely dry and all remnants of methanol has evaporated you have to use a forcep and gently dip it into the field stain B okay and you have to count five seconds so the moment five seconds is done gently using the forcep see to it that you remove your slide okay and then you have to gently wash it under the stream of water so after washing under tap water this is how it's going to look like okay so I'm done with field stain B so I'm going to keep it aside and now I will take up field stain A okay so uh, the slide is a little wet so you can wait for some time and then you can put it in field stain A so in field stain A, we are going to keep the slide for around 10 seconds, okay? So I'm going to open it and I'm going to dip it into field stain A. And gently see to it that it covers my entire slide and start counting till 10. So once that's done, once 10 seconds exposure is done, I'm going to gently remove my slide from it. Okay, and I am going to close field stain A and gently rinse it under water. After rinsing it with water, this is how my slide looks like. Okay, it's stained completely and I am going to let it air dry. You can use filter papers on which you can place your slide and uh, please remember that let it completely air dry before you go for observing it uh, you know under the microscope okay so see to it that you let it air dry completely and only then you start with your observation process so the slide is now almost completely dry you can see that it's well stained and now i can observe this under high power lens okay and we will note down the number or the type of cells that you observe in a grid okay so you have to note at least 50 to 100 WBCs that you note okay using their uh, initials you can note that in the grid and then we will do the calculation please note that once your work is done the slide that on which you created the film that should be put into the disinfectant jar and also the slide that you used to make the film also should go into the disinfectant jar if you have used any filter papers please discard all that in the dustbin and do not forget to put the slides into the disinfectant uh, without fail so that's about blood staining using field staining technique